get home from a long day and you don't really feel like breaking out the whole spread, you may be asking yourself, is there a way I can streamline one whole meal into one pot? Well tonight I'm going to make such a recipe. I will be making a creamy chicken and orzo with cauliflower recipe. This recipe is steeped in Mediterranean influence, so I hope you enjoy. Okay, to start this recipe, you want to get a good heavy duty pot, put it about medium heat. You want to take a couple tablespoons of olive oil, just to start it off. Here I have about half of a large sweet onion, I have medium diced. We're going to go ahead and throw that in. What we'll do, we'll saute this on kind of a medium heat for about three or four minutes. Then we'll add about four cloves of minced garlic. So we sauteed onions about three minutes. We're gonna add our cloves of minced garlic in there. And we'll keep it a medium heat because we don't want this garlic to burn. We're just gonna give it a nice little saute. Hit it with a little salt and pepper. stir for a couple more minutes. Right after we've added our garlic, we'll go ahead and add our carrots. About two small carrots have medium diced. We'll fill them in. So when making a dish like this, it's important to season after every ingredient you've added in. It really creates the layers of flavors. And I have a little salt and black pepper mix that I use. You use white pepper, you can separate it, you can mix it together, however you want it. So as you can see, the onions have been sautéing for a couple minutes. They're starting to turn a little translucent, and our garlic is slightly starting to change colors. This is when we'll add our orzo to get it toasting. So we're adding one and a half cups of orzo. <coughs> Stir this around. And this process, depending on your heat, could take a couple minutes, five minutes. So while we're toasting the orzo, it's going to soak up all that oil that was in the pan. So we're just going to add one tablespoon of butter just to moisten it up so don't burn our pasta. Once we've added our little bit of butter to moisten up this orzo, we're going to add our tomatoes in here. Here I have four Roma tomatoes. I've diced, we're gonna put them in now so they'll cook down and be kind of like a sauce for us. We'll hit it with a little salt and pepper. So once you see the moisture start leaching off these tomatoes a little bit, we're gonna add our chicken stock. We have some chicken stock simmering over here, and we're going to do this just like a risotto. We're just going to cover it and add a little bit at a time. It's important to scrape the bottom of the pan because some of that pasta is going to stick and you don't want it to sit there the whole cooking time. Bad news, bad flavors. When making this dish, you want to be constantly stirring because like when making a risotto, it's going to stick to the bottom of your pan before you know it. So I've been cooking this and constantly stirring for about five minutes. And as you can see, most of that original chicken stock is getting soaked up by that pasta in there. So at this time, we're just gonna add our cauliflower. We have about a half a head of cauliflower florets. We'll add that in. And then we'll add our chicken in. We have basically what's is a whole rotisserie chicken we pulled. We're just going to add in there. And at this point, we're just going to stir and constantly add more chicken stock. Two to four ounces at a time. Keep it on a low to medium heat. We're just going to stir.
So we've been constantly stirring and adding a little bit of chicken stock at a time for about 10 minutes now. And as you can see, our dish is really starting to grow. So we're coming real close to being done right now. But right now, we're just gonna add about a cup of green peas in there for a little color. And then we're gonna add about two tablespoons of chopped oregano, which is basically about five sprigs, give or take, depending on the quality of your oregano. So we'll stir that in there, and we've probably got about five minutes left. All right, 